What's up, demon babies? I'm Julian Fernandez, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Horror Bin, where we give you our ratings and reviews for everything to do with horror and movies. Uh, with me today, uh, no stranger to the podcast. Uh, we know her, we love her. It's Kelly McInerney. Hey, happy to be back. Yeah. Talk about new scares. Yeah, if you know Kelly's here, you mean we're talking about a brand new horror movie in theaters right now, or at least right now whenever you listen to this podcast. If you're listening mm -hmm. in the future, it's somewhere. I don't know. Um, but we're not, because we got a lot of new horror movies out right now. So we got, I, I think you guys are probably going to be seeing Kelly here for a little bit uh, march it, like this time of year is horror season because nobody wants to put out the good movies right. <laughs> till the end of the year mm -hmm. so they're like ah people go see horrors yeah they don't need a name in this and they just decided hey let's let's put out two movies that are pretty much the exact same hey do you like pregnant nuns no Ooh. here's two movies with them uh <laughs> just the week after no i feel like Immaculate came out maybe a few weeks. They're both in theaters. Still, like it's still, they're, yeah. they're both in theaters. But uh, <laughs> but if you don't know, if you haven't figured it out yet, today we are talking about Immaculate and the First Omen, both currently in theaters right now, released on 2024. Uh, before we get into it, let's mm -hmm. check out the trailer. Uh, let's start with the let's start with the First Omen. First is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> And that doesn't make any sense. The trailer starts in six, you six, don't have six. To be afraid. Because that's what it's about, like the. Well, yeah, it's about the devil and God stuff. God has great but... plans for you. <laughs> oh, I the get it. She's laughing because he's dead. Now I'm figuring it out. The trailer, the baby, it's probably like. <laughs> laughing. It's a dead baby, like it didn't work out. So that's why they went on to this lady. Oh, maybe. I think that she really needs someone to look out for her. Carlita. Carlita. She suffers from a touch of madness. You must be very careful, Margaret. Bad things will start to Best happen. Best scene in the movie. Her. Yeah. Evident. And it's in the trailer. Oh, you know, don't. What does any of this have to do with Carlita? His church has maintained power for thousands of years. Thousands of years. You know, the first trailer was backwards. Like the teaser trailer. Was it? They showed everything backwards. I should have found that one. How do you control people who no longer believe? You create. Or maybe this is so it. Started. I believe the girl is to be the mother. Mother of, of what? It's the mark of the devil. It's not real. 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 What's not real? Who said that? Well, then that went nowhere. <laughs> All the good stuff real. is in the trailer. The trailer is far scarier than the movie actually is. Yeah. Uh, before we get into that, because I think we have a lot to say about the first Omen, uh, a lot of good things to say about Immaculate. So let's go ahead and Second take a look. Second is the best. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at Immaculate, also released and currently in theaters. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This was probably also the biggest scare I had in the Hello? movie. This part? Yeah. Yeah. Because I completely forgot this trailer. Me too. Because, you know, they don't have... It's, it's, it's slower than the other one, I feel mm -hmm. like. And it's funny because it's the other way around in the movie, you know? Yeah. Oh, too much blood of Christ. It's a miracle. Ugh. Child. Yeah. Look at children. Hotter, younger audience. Like even the Pat Priest is a young hottie. Yeah. Not, not a what's his face, Baby Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that baby's Jack Sparrow. How can we trust what's I keep thinking of the Jeffrey Rust line. You best stop believing in ghost stories. You're in one. <laughs> yeah. Like her. That's how every horror movie should start now. <laughs> You're in one. <laughs> Suffering. Suffering. 
I think also Marriage. Is that what? They're like, hey, you know who's pregnant in this. Let's just show you some scary reactions. Yeah. You know it's about a pregnant nun. The other one's like, I, I got, I got, I know the difference now. That scene was so good. Perfect trailer. Truly, like it get, Sydney I'm, Sweeney, I'm from the, going from Madame Webb to this, she's got the chop. I yeah, mean, she's, we ha knew she's having a, she's having a better week. Yeah. Uh, if you can't tell, <laughs> better month. <laughs> if you can't tell, we like Immaculate far more than we like so the first much Omen. More. <laughs> the first Omen, uh, two hours long, and you feel it. Oh yeah, it felt I, so much longer than that. <laughs> we, you, there was a moment we were watching the theater. I looked up on a, on my app to see how long the movie was because yeah. I was so like, just like this is, it's taking forever. I tried to fall asleep so badly because <laughs> I just like some movies. I'm like, I I don't care anymore. This is this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> these uh, these chairs are comfy though. <laughs> Uh, for those that don't know, like we said, uh, First Omen, uh, currently in theaters, released in 2024, uh, a young American woman is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, but encounters a encounters a darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying oh. conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth so, of evil incarnate. This is the prequel to The Omen, you this know is that? The this That's is the first I didn't Omen. realize that until... Like, the last 20 minutes, I'm like, this is great. I, why don't you make a movie around this? Yeah. Like, what was all the bullshit in the beginning? Uh, why did we do that? So I hate, I think that's the difference with Immaculate and this is like the reveal is like, you know, this is about the how the first omen began, but we're not going to tell you how. Whereas Immaculate's like, this is about a nun that got pregnant. Mystery. Is it, is it Jesus? Is it the devil? Is it something else? You yeah. gotta watch to find out. Like, they tell you what they're going to do. Like, that. They there's not. The uh, surprise is who did it, I guess, but like it's not a surprise. You know, we know that it's a predictable thing with good jump scares. Yes. Whereas, well, I disagree on the jump scares. Uh, immaculate, I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah, immaculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think immaculate was like a predictable storyline, but with great jump scares. I, like, this one was like, what I the hell's going? Why do I care? I still stand. I I actually I stand with my disagreement, not of lack of jump scares. But la I did not, I could not tell you what, what if from the beginning of Immaculate, I could yeah. not tell you I, where the movie was going to go. Oh, really? I thought it was going to go, I thought we were going into full uh, uh, devil baby mode. Mm, I think it is. I think the it's thing. It's not, though. I think they are evil people. They're evil people, but that doesn't mean it's that, that their intention isn't to make the devil baby. I think uh, they knew what they were doing. Since we're already kind of talking about it as well. We can uh, switch, we switch back we're, and forth. We're switching forward. back and forth. This is basically a versus episode. <laughs> mm. Okay, good. Uh, even though we, we both know who's better. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for Immaculate, uh, Cecilia, a woman of devout, devout, yeah, devout faith, is warmly welcomed to the picture-perfect Italian countryside where she... Both go to Italy. <laughs> where They're both, yeah, where she is offered a new role at a, at an uh, illustrious convent, but it becomes clear to Cecilia that her new home harbors dark and horrifying secrets. Uh, yeah, beat for beat, there was a moment, we saw Immaculate first, and then we saw the first woman just recently, and the there is... The are the same. Everything... Everything is um, they they both they're both American nuns from middle of nowhere from America running away from their past that's, coming to Europe yep uh getting picked up by a priest uh to go one's hot one's young I mean one's hot and young one's old and uh, uh Davy Jones yeah oh yeah oh you're talking about the priest I thought you were talking about the nuns oh, oh yeah I was like they're both no young. they're both young they're both young I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> one stacked, one is. <laughs> <laughs> one had looked pregnant from her tits straight out the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, she was ready. Sydney to go. Sweeney can play pregnant <laughs> anytime. It's very believable. Give her a fat suit. She yeah, looks it. Um, I and I came in. I oh yeah, came, I came in not thinking it was immaculate was going to be even be good at all. Yeah, you really didn't want to see it. You su suggested we saw another horror movie before we saw Immaculate, Late yeah. Night with the Devil. And 
which so, we'll also be talking about yeah. in, on another episode, probably Was very soon. Was it better? No. But we'll, we'll get to that. But, we'll t- I <laughs> but mean, just, we're not here to talk about if that one was better than these ones. I'm just saying, <laughs> Immaculate, so far, best horror of 2024. I agree. But uh, they continued, and then they she met a roommate, female roommate. Mm-hmm. Uh, say, like same beginnings. They they both had they like had kind of rebellious uh roommates. Yep. Uh, I, I did that. Uh, there's also a weird nun that's been there for so many years, mm-hmm. uh, who ends up taking her own life, or as far as we know, one of them took their own life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have theories. Um, except the difference is this is like uh the first omen is about an orphanage with like young girls, and then immaculate they're taking care of old women. They're taking care. Which of, I li- They're I li- taking care of nuns on their way out. I liked that twist of yes. immaculate. That was like okay, cool, because like give us some weird twist. Because uh, we know what's going to happen. And everything that's set up in the beginning of Immaculate does come back in some for, some way. Like the fact that like they're going through, like, these are the chores, the daily chores. And like, hey, you got to cut off yeah. a chicken's head. And she's like, I can't do it. That comes back later in like a very like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit kind of kind of way. I, mean, I, I was like, oh, yeah, this is. They, it followed the formula of like she's got to try and escape and fail, mm-hmm. and then she finally does. You know, so this yeah. escape and f- I was like, this is the this is the chick. You know, are we we could spoil right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if if you don't know, if you don't know, we spoil. So we're about to yeah. we're about to get a little loose lipped here because uh, so you've been we gotta warned. talk about. It. But uh, but yeah, we can open up the spoil the spoil gates. Yeah, but I, yeah, I like that. I liked that it all came in like. We're not watching, like, in the beginning of the first omen, we see her do chores, and it's like nothing came with this shit. Nothing was happening. It's just yeah. a day in the life, whereas at least... With Immaculate, there there was there was a purpose behind yes, showing off the chores and everything. everything served a purpose in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, both of them, uh, like we said, uh, both involved nuns being pregnant. Uh, Sydney Sweeney gets pregnant a lot sooner, because that is the whole focus of the movie. Yeah. Um, but it takes a lot longer for her, that's why, to have the baby. It whereas, does. like, they're like, whoop. She's You're... she's figuring out that something's fishy while she's pregnant, yeah. uh, and while she, they all think it, well, while she thinks it's an immaculate miracle birth of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of in terms of acting and everything, I like my biggest hesitation for immaculate was that I'm not a big Sydney Sweeney fan. Yeah. I don't, I, I haven't seen Euphoria, so I can't judge her on that. But everyone mm-hmm. says she's good in it. She's a good crier in it. Yeah, for sure. So I, I believe that. Um. I have no interest in seeing uh, that rom- rom-com movie she did. No, nah, past you. Uh, I'm not seeing Madam Web. <laughs> it's, not, it's entertaining. I'm sure it's entertaining, but I'm not. I'm not gonna spend a day. I'm not gonna spend a day out of. Uh, take a time out of my day to go see it. I'll. I'll nope. wait for it to come out on Tubi. I assume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where they're gonna put it. Uh, so I don't really have any kind of. I didn't really have a, a basis of like how good she is going in, but she surprised me. She's a good final girl. Yeah. Scream Queen level uh, horror actress. The ending was so good. Also, this is I don't. I'm not a huge fan of hers. Uh, you know, she is a liar. She like lied about yeah, being a Sydney, tour guide. You're looking at a real tour guide, Universal tour guide, or former yeah. Universal tour guide here. I ain't never seen you because if I did, I would have hit on you for sure. Uh, <laughs> not that I did it for everybody, but I mean, like normally. I would. I mean, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. nice titties. But who, who would not? Who And they find a way to show it off yeah. in this movie, too. <laughs> but it is fun. Like, this movie, it was originally about, uh, I think it was about an orphanage. And she was, it was 10 years ago, uh, a boarding school. That's what it was. And yes, she auditioned it, to be a part of it and didn't get, then years, then I guess now she's Sydney Sweeney. She could do whatever she wants. Yeah. So she hired, like. She, she helped out with the rewrites. Yeah, she hired the uh, uh, she got the writer back. She yeah. hired a director. And she's like, let's make this. And they're like, we can't do a boarding school because she's aged out. And she's yeah. like, what's the creepiest thing? Nuns. Nuns. Nuns Brilliant. are plenty creepy. Did you ever? Did you ever have? Did, were you, did you grow up religious? I I uh, I grew up Protestant, so no nun, no nuns. Oh, I I had nuns. Yeah, uh, yeah. my the, dad did. I, I had eighty. Uh, I got diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, like around like fourth grade. Yeah. And I was in Catholic school at the time. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> everybody with ADDs. Okay. No, 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 no. But I mean, like being oh. in Catholic school, not. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, this is the priest you got to worry about, not mm, the nuns. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. They, but they hold secrets. That's why their hats are so big. Mm-hmm. Um, but we had one. I think one year we had a nun uh, as uh, like our. Uh, I forget what she specifically taught, but she made me feel so dumb and like I remember being like, I don't know. She's like, "What's your address?" And I'm like, I, yeah. first off, you shouldn't." 
don't ask your kid kids what their address is. That's uh, weird. They should know what it is, but I mean, don't ask them. Uh, but she's like, "What's your address? Or what city do you live in?" I'm like, "I don't know." She's like, "How do you not know?" Blah blah blah. I'm How like, old "I'm a you? child." Yeah, I was like, barely. Fifteen? Like, no, no, no. You're younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> I was twenty-two. <laughs> uh, I kind of get no. No, but I mean, she was. Yeah, she was. I just remember her being very, very rude, yeah. very mean. One time, um, um, I had to go. My grandma was religious because my dad's side, so we would go to St. Patrick's Cathedral whenever we went into New York City. Yeah. And one time, I tried to take the the body, but I did my hands the wrong way, and the the, the guy. I was like literally like eight years old or something, maybe twelve max. And he's like, you're not Catholic. You can't take this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and my grandma just, like, let it happen because, you know, <laughs> religion. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, know. I like, that's also what I really like about this. Demons it's, aren't the villains in this. It's the church. Yeah. Like, I think that's kind of smart. It's like, I think that's the difference with the movies, too, because they re- very much leaned into to, to the grossness of the demon yeah. in the first Omen with weird shots. And then it almost ma- it got an NC-17 just for that birthing. But it's like the whole movie's boring, and now you're just flashing this, sh- this shit I on didn't, me? I didn't even realize that they physically, because at the end, they Disgusting. burned down the the entire, I guess, convent, Yeah, uh, hoping to burn not only the mother of uh, who we will... At the very end of the movie, find out it's Damien, mm-hmm. um, but also to burn this the jackal that apparent jackal demon monster that apparently is in the basement. That I thought also, it was I thought it was like a metaphor, like spiritually, like the devil was like having his way with by, her. By the way, it's wrong. This is a terrible prequel because in the original Omen, the guy, uh, the priest who's the young priest in this, I yeah. think he's. He's aged up, like he's a character in the Omen. I think him or somebody they go to a cemetery and uncover the mother, and the mother's a jackal. The mother's like devil. Mm. I, it's weird. I, I I don't know. It's just like it doesn't. And then there's this twin, all uh, twin Damien at the end. Where I you don't. Just, you really want a sequel from us, right? But yeah. sorry, this movie's and fucking they set trash. It up <laughs> so weird. It felt like I was watching the end of a Marvel movie at, by the end with the gun. With the gun, with the the father coming, the father coming to uh to to the mother who has adopted her I guess, incest sister. Yeah, because I don't they explain that they had to that the, the baby has to be created through incest. Yeah, the demon has to fuck his daughters. It's and, and they needed a male, and then she had twins. Uh, and each each daughter has a six 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 somewhere. I will say that is that is the best part of that is one. There's three. Really good parts in the first omen. Okay. Uh, the first, yeah. Uh, the first is uh the the homage to "It's All for You" scene, where the crazy nun lights herself on fire. Where oh, she's yeah, 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 in yeah. the original, it's a woman hangs herself. And it's all for you, Damien. Yeah. It's all for you. And then and she that hangs herself. That was a nanny. It made more sense. Uh, <laughs> this one, it was a nun who we barely spend any time with. Yeah. Who lights herself on? Who ones up? One ups it. Lights herself on fire. Then hangs herself. Uh, visually, I'm like, whoa, okay. That yeah. they they top the, that homage to the original. So that's one. The second was when. Um, I don't think they top the original there. In terms of the in terms of the kill, this is like a birthday party. I think Damien's birthday party. He she does that in the original. This is a fun stuff. Little, little girls just. This is like an orphanage. Like they're at school. And I they mean, are, you know what? In this or it does uh, by the end, it does seem like they are like training these girls to be part of like yeah, the church, weird. which is just church. Yeah. <laughs> um. The second one was when uh, <laughs> the guy Paolo gets hit by the car. But you saw, I saw that in the trailer, so I was like, I, no, but I know but not not happen. not him getting hit by the car. The girls, uh, not Cecilia. Oh um, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, Ma- Margaret, Mar- Mar- uh, Margaret, uh, Margaret, Margaret, Margaret goes up to to comfort him as he's pinned to the wall, and then just mm-hmm. removes his top half and just carries it away, and she's just standing there with his. His guts are just hanging out. Yeah. It's like visually, it's like holy shit, but also hilarious. Um, but the third one was when uh, she realizes that she was the first six 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 baby, and find she looks on her. She's looking on her head, and she finds it, and she just boom, just her eyes just shoot, looking at the camera and looking at the screen. Uh-huh. That freaked me out. Uh. There's a reason they tell you don't look at the camera in film and TV because it's very unnerving. Yeah. Uh, and that, and like her just, like that quick, duh, 
the, the way the music hit, the way her eyes just hit and stayed on the camera, and then it just cut to black immediately. Yeah. It got that part got me. I don't know. The I liked when she screamed in the street, but then I'm like, this is taking that too took long. Forever. Like, I get it, you're a good actress, but you're not Sydney Sweet. The like end of both- the movie where she Sydney Sweeney screams. Took only two takes. Both times. Crushed it. You want to know why? Her face was covered in blood, baby, and she was in yeah. labor. Push it. It made more sense. Both both movies have have scenes where they are. I mean, the first woman, she's not really, she's not in labor, but she's she put, is, she is like getting her belly, she's basically. She's getting the, be- like, she's because, I don't know. She's because, it's so weird. It's, guys, it's so weird. It's terrible. Don't see it. Don't see it. This, I'm, spoiler alert, I think this is going to be a bottom of the bear, bottom of the bin yeah. uh, movie for us. But, um, they both, even... they both have like these moments where they're like kind of in labor levels of pain. Mm-hmm. Sydney Sweeney's is so much better, so much more memorable. And the way the movie ends, and it's also the end of the movie, and it's it's a gr- it's just a great ending. <laughs> yeah, I like a movie. Listen, I like being scared, and I like scary movies, but I also just love a girl kicking fucking ass. And this does it right. And she's in la- the the climax of this movie is insane. It's mo- way, way more positive too than the first omen because yeah. it's like uh oh the beginning well, the of the don't... antichrist yeah you know? they have to, they're setting up damien but yeah but this is like she is in labor like literally she kills a nun like the, she's getting an ultrasound and whacks a nun to escape and then her water breaks and she's like fuck and she kicks ass she kills she kills the priest she kills uh she tries to burn the father and then he's coming after her and then she fucking stabs him with the na- the nail that supposedly was used on Jesus to or the fu- cross that's what they used to fuck her to inseminate her or whatever. I don't know if they used the nail to inseminate. I think her. that's what they implied. But it was funny that every time they was talking about like we found blood and you just kept on leaving over and come and yeah. we found and we found DNA and come. It's what it was. <laughs> and then eventually he said he, he said it. He did say he didn't say come, but he said I think sperm or something. But, how you, but just having Kelly lean over to me in a dark theater and just say, and come, is the funniest fucking Blood thing. Blood doesn't make a baby baby, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Little, little jizda. Uh, they never do explain in Immaculate. One criticism I have of it, uh, one, yeah, one of my, my biggest gripes with it is that they never do explain, and it could just be like, oh, they're a weird uh, culty part of Christianity or whatever, but like the the people that are in the masks... Yeah, that was weird. They're just popping up. They never, they never referenced again. It's never like, I, oh, those are the, those are the, the most devout or, or anything. Mm-hmm. They're just, they're just there. Just visually, they're like, listen, we're doing a lot of blood. How about masks that look like blood, like, mm-hmm. but just they're, they're not there. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I didn't like that either. Yeah, I wish that was explained, but. I love the end. I love that she escapes and then she has this baby, and you're like. We, that's I, I don't like that either. I'm like I want to know if it's a demon. And that's why I, I disagreed with you but, because yeah. See, because we kept on like seeing that. like the the fail because we find out that all the nuns that are there have gone through this yeah. in some way and they it's on their birthed, foot yeah they get marked on their foot. Um, that's why they're old and crazy. And but uh, but we do see like they it was a lot of like deformations from the babies that they got. Mm-hmm. There's even that part before the they they either throw or she fall she jumps off the roof that one sister um yeah. where she's like let have them do it to me again. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more yeah. time. She's they inseminated her and she gave birth to a deformed baby, mm-hmm. one that wouldn't work. Um I did like how a lot of the scares were people too versus yes. like this weird cutaway of a gross demon. Like that's not like a weird cutaway of a gross demon is not going to scare me. Real people are scared. Immaculate had better scares because a lot of them were a lot of them. And it's one of the things I love. It's like one of the reasons I love Get Out is yeah. that it, there's not a lot of jump scares, but it's a lot of tension building that makes me just grip my seat. You're like this the whole time. Yeah. I'm no, like, I I'm like something. And they're like this. Like, I'm like, man, it's I, I 20 gen- minutes in. I hate <laughs> I cannot stand oh yeah that opening is even great too because yeah. we get one opening where it's like this girl this woman's trying to es- this nun is trying to escape this place yeah and then she's chased by nuns and then is buried alive Ter- crazy and then we have another opening for the first omen where it's um uh let me get the actors names here uh oh, we got yeah. ralph uh einson uh who plays father brennan uh and charles dance who plays father harris 
uh, talking about like they birthed this baby in uh, in in a unnatural in an unnatural way or whatever. I completely forgot about this and part. I, it, and that's the other thing. It doesn't like I. I don't understand what they're trying to set up. Is yeah. Father Brennan being charged with going to kill this child? Is is he supposed to hunt her down? What's what's supposed to happen? And a lot of the kills, a lot of the scares end up being very predictable. They show the stained glass that's being lifted up. Uh, and it's like, all right, that's going to fall on someone. Because I they believe do, in an omen or something, somebody gets... Yeah, they get stabbed with Sta- like Lupin plays uh, it in so- like the guy that plays Lupin in Harry Potter was in some sort of movie like that where he gets that. I'm yeah. Like, oh, that's gonna happen again. Where he's researching at a at a at a church. Yeah. And then what a thing the heck falls. was that movie? It, it was it was one of the omens. There's yeah. a, there's more than just the omen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. But uh. But then like Charles Dance gets a a pipe through half his head, which cool kill. Um. Visually, like, looks cool, but... Only a little... It was like a sliver of his head, But it took forever to get to it, and it was boring to get to it. Yeah. Whereas, again, Immaculate, it kept me invested the entire time. I wasn't worried about the time. I wasn't worried how long it was. Mm -hmm. I was enjoying... I was enjoying it. And it was leaving me with this tense feeling, whereas the first Omen was just more like, okay, I'm covering my ears because I'm like... I I know they're uh, they're about to... They're setting up a Mm -hmm. scare, and I just... I want to be prepped for it. Yeah, and it's a redemption movie, and it was her passion project. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of hers, but it's nice to see when people get a W like this. Sydney, you know? uh, Sydney Sweeney auditioned for this film in 2014. Yeah. Uh, but the project was never materialized. Years later, she took on the role of a producer and reached out to the writer, acquired and revised the script, hired a director, found financiers, and sold the film to Neon. So she did all of this. Yeah. So this was really like uh, like kudos to Sydney Sweeney. Keep doing more horror. You and Catherine Newton do more horror. They should do a movie together. That'd be so good. Oh my god! Speaking of Catherine Newton, we gotta do Abigail, uh, Abigail soon too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so expect that one. We got vampires on the way. Um, and then yeah, First Omen. I mean, just it's trash. Gotta, it's yeah. Char- I mean, we got, we got a, and what sucks is we got a talented cast too. Charles Dance, Bill Nye. Ralph, uh, I don't know anybody Einstein. except Davy Jones. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only guy. The girl, I know more the girl, people in uh, S- Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> the girl who played uh, Margaret, her name Nell Tigerfree. Yeah, she's got blonde <laughs> hair too in real life. Yeah, crazy. Um, uh, but this. Immaculate, we got uh, you know we obviously we got Sydney Sweeney in the lead role as uh, Cecilia and the other girl from White Lotus, but in the other another Simona season, Tabasco. Yep. Tabasco. I think so. She's from the Italy White Lotus. Yeah. Sydney Sweetie's from the uh, Hawaii White Lotus. Uh, Benedita Porcalini, Sister Gwen. (laughs) I'm just trying to give everyone their due. Um, I should have read these names ahead of time, though. (laughs) It was good. It was fun. Yeah. I, you know, you don't have to, like, what I liked about Immaculate, too, is, like, we knew like when she's in that bathtub, we're like, "Oh, there's gonna be a scare." But the way they did the scares and who, like, I liked that it was people more yes. than like the forcing supernatural. It. And uh, I hated the first Omen's marketing. This is the scariest movie. Like the whole thing was, "This is well, the scariest movie you'll ever see." No, it wasn't. It you just trying to make it gross. It, it's gonna be NC seventeen because of the birth scene, mm-hmm. and they cut it down. I'm like, that's why, just because of this gross ass scene. So, uh, Ryan Tomatoes has the first Omen at seventy eight percent. Get it out of and here. And then audience score sixty four percent. Immaculate Tomato score seventy one percent. Audience score fifty nine percent. That blow. That's like the fandom of um, of Omen coming out. I think because Maybe. I don't think people give Immaculate a shot. It's really good, man. It's great. I, give it a shot. If you if you're hesitant about seeing it, give it a shot. If you love scares, if you like being scared, and if you like Final Girls, like this mm-hmm. is a good like kick ass. Like for the Scream fans out there, for like yeah. at, like the uh, Ripley fans, you mm-hmm. know, like just. I think this. I think she makes a good. This this is a good. This is the better way of doing the final girl like kicks ass. None it, version like empower it, like it felt more like an empowered uh, arc, whereas like something like the invitation. Uh, it it start it's like good the first half, and then it turns into this van and then it turns into like this more leaning towards horror movie or whatever but then she ends up getting all these powers from being uh bitten or 
drinking uh, the guy's blood. Oh. Uh, and then starts kicking ass. But then at the end, it's like this weird, again, this weird Marvel superhero ending of like, well, now, well, now we could take our, we could take revenge on the family that set us up. Yeah, he doesn't know. I still, don't, I don't have any more of those powers, but we'll still show him. And then they, they walk in to like, uh, get the guy who basically invited her to the this dinner that she was stuck at. You need that. What we did need: Sydney Sweeney giving birth and then uh, dropping a rock on that newborn mutant baby. And do, she, they didn't show the baby, which I think they should have. I like that they didn't. But see, they, I like that you're able that if you're quite if you're if you're listening, all you hear is it wheezing. Yeah, because that's like, oh, maybe it's not a healthy baby because they usually cry. No, you know. I'm, the way so, she's looking at it, the way Sydney's playing it, because it's all in her face. Every that yeah. entire thing is all in her face, and she is just selling it. That it's that level of like, this it, isn't yeah. a human. This mm-hmm. is this is a monster. And I gotta you, fucking kill it. And you don't have to be a Sydney Sweeney fan, like, and but don't be a hater. Don't hate this movie just because it's all give, her. Give her a shot. This she, this is her she, redemption from Madam Web for yeah, sure. <laughs> she crushes it. Like all you need is a bloody screaming Sydney Sweeney. And I'm in, I guess. Yeah. I guess this is the moral of my story. Well, uh, with that, Kelly, uh, on the scary rating, 1 to 10, 1 being Hotel Transylvania, 10 being fucking the scariest fucking movie in the world. Uh, where are you putting Immaculate? Let's man, start with that. Man, I don't know. Hor- th- things don't super scare me. Mm-hmm. I- I'm going to say six and a half. I'm going to say seven. Okay, good. I'm going to say the same on the scary for, for Immaculate. Where do you put it on the movie rating, 1 to 10? Oh, I think, like, 7. I'm putting sure. it at 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 7 it's, and it's, a half. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to price his right rules you No, I'm just, I'm just the Simon Cowell. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. just very much like, only few movies are 10. No, so, but it was very good. So, same question for Stoneman. Where are you putting on the scary rating? Uh, one. <laughs> one. Okay, I'm putting. I'm naming it a three. I didn't think I wasn't scared. I had I had moments that I, I jumped, gross. but I wasn't. But I, and I was creep. I was more creeped out. Yes, that's than what I was I'm scared. I was grossed out. I'm like, yeah. this isn't scary. This is disgusting. Yeah, like this is not scaring me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is gross. So uh, that's and then why. movie rating. I'm giving it a one. A negative one. Ooh. I hate. I was like. How dare you lie to me? This is not scary at all. Like the scariest movie of all time. Get Uh, the hell. I hate. Don't lie. If they didn't lie to me like that in the marketing campaigns, I would have given it more of a shot. But you're you're selling me to on this fake idea that was just awful. It was awful. And then uh, in terms of uh, in terms of our horror bin, uh, where are we putting? We got top tier, top of the bin movies like Screaming Evil Dead. We got Hidden Treasures right in the third tier. We got Skimming the Surface on the second tier and Bottom of the Bin for fourth tier. Hidden Treasure for sure for Immaculate because you forget kind of. I would say it, I would agree. Yeah. I do kind of want to give it that that high. I do want to say it's in contention for me for, like you said, best horror movie of the year. Yeah. Um, It's still, I think we're still still early early. in the year, so we still got time. Who knows? But- I want to say it's hovering between uh, the top and the the second mm-hmm. tier of the bin. We got it. Like, ask me in December, you know, and then yeah. I might move it up. I think we'll try. I think what I want to try to do is like every year, especially at least, especially with you. Yeah. We'll like we'll compile up. all the horror movies we've seen and try to figure out. All right, who beat it out? Who killed it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I but I would it. definitely say Immaculate. You're in the running for sure. Uh, right. But I think we can both agree. Uh, first omen bot. This is our second. Can we throw it in the trash and said like that's if you basically see it, be where like, the bomb of the barrel is. Watch the original omen. Don't watch this. Watch the Julia Stiles omen too. Even that one's good. Yeah, like I think that's the one with Lupin in it. Probably, but like the others weren't as bad as like I was just mad. And like, then uh, before we before we head out because we got to wrap up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, when when would you say is the best time to watch either of these movies? I, well, I think we can agree. First omen, d- don't watch it. Uh, when's the best time to watch Immaculate? Easter. Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for being on, thank as you always. For me. Uh, you know, definitely you're going to see Kelly more uh, more very soon. We got a lot of horror movies that are coming out, but where can people find you right now? Where, where are you at? What you got going on? You can find me, Kelly McInery, on Instagram, kellymcinery.net. And if you're in LA, check out Comedy Bingo. We do it once a month, uh, the third or fourth Monday every month. Fantastic. You guys can find me on all the social media, Julian F. Comedy. You can find this podcast on social media at Horror Bin Pod. 
Uh, leave us a like, leave us a review. Let us know what you guys thought about the, either of these movies. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, and let us know what other movies you wanted to talk about. Uh, we got more guests on the way. We got more horror movies to dive into. Um, but we're building this community and thank you guys for continuing to watch. And as we say on every episode, it's all for you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>